Smacking, cracking, and watching. Follow me on Twitter. Subscribe. The Gifted, season one, episode three. This episode is called Exodus. Oh, let's get to it. Right, they start off with this really, really sweet, really dope love story type action packed comic book love story man we got we have two people from two different worlds two people with two different set of skills and powers coming together to create northern lights y'all ready for this so they flash back three years marcos polaris and they're showing why they do it where they hide why they hide Polaris showed us why she could have easily been a dang on figure skater. She could have been an ice skater out there with that triple style cow she did in the air like four times. It was a show me, I'll show you situation. Together they created the most beautiful thing on earth besides a child. This beautiful aura, magnetic and solar power. On another hand, we got Jace Turner, AKA Jason Pitts from the game. And he's so angry, he's so frustrating he's got it out for them it's personal you know what i mean even though his job is one thing it's personal for him to attack these mutants now in the future wouldn't it be crazy if it's flipped and he's down for them you know kind of sort of how reed is you you your job was to do one thing but now look how your family is affected at home because of it saw him texting his wife we, we know there's some sort of home so next episode i bet i bet for episode four we'll see his wife Caitlyn, the mom, a.k.a. Root, from Person of Interest. Every time I saw her, every time I saw the mom with the kids, or just any time the camera hit her, she was straight up Root, man. It, I, it was hard for me to adjust to her being the mom because I'm like, oh, snap. Look, especially when they were on the street, because, you know, in Person of Interest, she was always on the street walking, you know, in her ear listening getting some guidance i'm like dang root you can't get that guidance and and she can't tell you blah, 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 baby i was about turn left and then there's like five hundred thousand dollars right there nothing hmm. i guess the shows won't combine thunderbird thunderbird is the protector great role he has this great role man he's the tracker he's like the mature person for all in that area with a gift He's young, he's cute, he's high, he's got long hair, don't care, and he ain't feeling Clarice, but Clarice was feeling him all of a sudden because Dreamer came through, and you know what? I don't know about Dreamer, y'all. I don't. I just don't know how to feel about her right now. Okay, so Reed. Reed is in the midst of a rock in a hard place, now realizing that mutants aren't that bad because everybody is diverse every family every household is so diverse that you kind of have to just let it be you can't just neutralize get rid of this group you know because everyone's affected by it and we so you got all these kids now with this mutant gene so you're just gonna just keep all these kids in a secluded location for the rest of their life is that right agents corrupted him and he gets to meet a lady who healed him gave him peace he's living a life just like him so that really messed his head up in a good way. It shook things up, man. It, it shook him up so bad he tucked and rolled. Judas. Dreamer. Dreamer alters memories and she was able to kind of shake uh, Clarice out of her funk. They were able to create this huge portal in the middle of the street. Let's talk about it. First of all, I really, really thought Kate's brother was going to snitch i did not see the son doing it i did i did i thought i thought i'm talking about like out the gate when they were when he was still before the kids were even like in the room playing a video game i thought he would already had called he already called jason them i thought he already had jace on the way i thought he was gonna snitch his sister out he did not he held it down he took a big old butt whooping for her because they had they had the purge waiting in the front yard i'm talking about and andy with his famous line of leave us al leave us alone we get it boy he's young he can't control his powers he can't control his gift right now so he uses anger frustration and he just does what he does this fight scene became fight scene shootout turned into chevy versus ford we got two black ford pickup trucks for the bad guys and we got a chevy not new suburban on the road with a busted headlight trying to get our team to safety that whole scene was dope because homegirl came clarice and dreamer came through with the purple mist and they created a portal and she had complete control over herself and she got them there she got them to safety and 
at the same time, she's crushing the Thunderbird and he's kind of frustrated. Dreamer. Mm -hmm. Feelings not mutual. Now Polaris. Polaris keeps on trying her power. She's so strong-willed that she keeps on trying, even with the collar on her neck, trying to get out of there, trying to manipulate that metal. And she hurt herself so bad when that blood, that blood was pouring out of her nose. Wow, what a scene. She, girl wants to be free, wants to be reunited. Things you do for love. Trying to escape. No matter what, she will continue trying to escape. And that, I think, is cool because I, I just feel like it's going to take more than one person with a gift in that prison, in that jail, to get out. I don't think it's just going to be her and she's going to go. I don't think they're going to come in and break her out. I think it's going to be a whole lot of mutants uniting, breaking stuff out, and they all disappearing. That's how I feel. This episode was really good. Exodus. Until the next time, peace.